Good morning. It is a balmy 38 degrees here in Delaware on this December day, and I have a problem. It's been too cold to do much fishing. When I did go, the fish weren't really biting very aggressively. So I went to my old faithful, the chain pickerel. That's what I'm fishing for today. Check it out. Pickerel are ambush predators. They lie, you know, suspended around structure and then shoot out uh, super quick and ambush their prey. So I'm going with this Lunker Hunt spinnerbait and a typical rooster tail. Those are two things I've had great success uh, when fishing for pickerel and I just trust them. He's chasing it, he's chasing it, he's chasing it. Oh, he got it, he got it right there at the boat. Oh, he got off, I didn't set the hook. That's a good start, you win some, you lose some. But I consider that a win. I saw him follow it, and he took it. Let's see if there's one more back there that's willing to hit. Got him, got him. Oh, there's a school of them, I see him back there suspended. Got him. There he is. All right, first one of the day. Oh, <laughs> perfect quick release. Oh, came out and got it. All right, right here by the boat. Oh, and he fell off. He dehooked himself right onto the side of the boat. So they're just laid up in here. I see them suspending like torpedoes waiting to shoot off. <laughs> it's really cool. Got one. <laughs> we hit it really well. Hit it super hard. He fell off inside the kayak. How'd you like to have those chompers dancing around your you know what down in the kayak? Anyway, got him. And he's off. I was about to release him, and he made the decision to rush order that release. <laughs> this is fun just like you would for any other species. I'm looking for structural details, little points, coves, areas with some timber that may hold some fish that are waiting to ambush. And having some luck so far, I'm coming up on an area that looks super promising. I see a few uh, logs down, there are some weed patches, and it's slick calm back here. Even though it's almost January, I'm really tempted to use like top water, but I kind of know better. Take a look around, you'll see what I'm talking about. It's so shallow, I don't know if there's any fish back here. Just spooked one. Okay, it's like six inches deep back here. Um, I don't know what I'm thinking is gonna happen. I should probably tie on the top water. I just hit the bottom, like a, in a kayak. So, I mean, it's crazy shallow. I'm gonna tie on a top water and try my hand. It's not a true top water, but I'm going with the Rapala here. It's a floating minnow. If you twitch it, it's a shallow diver. Uh, I'm just gonna to toss it and instead of retrieving it, just kind of let it hover. Pop it a few times. Wait, wait, wait. And I'm hoping for some of those top water explosions that pickerel are really known for. Just not usually in the winter. I'm fishing it because it's so shallow back here. I mean, there's no way I can swim a bait through here and not get fouled up. I just got blown up on three times. Well, it's about three 
feet to the right of the hood. Let's see what happens. I'd love to catch that blow up on him. Okay. Oh, there it was! Oh, got him! Oh, hooked him that time. Oh, so fun. I think I got a pound of muck hanging on with him. That's a nice pickerel. Oh, that is no joke. Top water pickerel in December. It can be done. And no, we're not here in like Georgia. We're here in Delaware. Catching them all in top water in December. What the heck? <laughs> this is great. Let's get you back in the water. Full time. There he goes. Off through the muck. Hopefully he'll be here next year. And a little bigger. And he'll blow up on another topwater bait. That was just crazy. <laughs> Whew. Too much fun. Mm. All right, I'm gonna try the area between those two little weed islands right there. Betting something's laying up in that area. Oh, he came out for it. Got it right away. Oh, look at that fella go. Dang, that's a nice one. At least he's fighting hard like a nice one. Nah, he's not super big. Not as big as the last one. Whoa. He is all over the place. Okay, the weeds will slow him down. <laughs> Can't see where he's going. I'm telling you, it doesn't have to be bass to be fun. These pickerel, God, they're like barracudas of the fresh water. I love them. These are chain pickerel. There's several kinds out there. Um, I've only caught chain pickerel. They're like a mini pike. There's also a red fin pickerel, but um, I've never seen one of those. I guess it's the same only with red fins. Look at those teeth, man. It's really something. All right, let's get this fella back in. Oh, there's a wake. He struck it once. Come on, dude, come on, he's awake coming. We got it. Oh, another massive one. Oh. Oh. Woo. Not quite as big as the last one, but close. He might rival that last one. Oh my God, dude. Chillax, chillax, chillax. <laughs> Let's get this hook out of you quick. You're making it worse on yourself. All right, we'll toss him back while I get my pliers <laughs> handy here. Got me super duper wet, man. That guy splashed the crap out of me. <laughs> if you can see that, <laughs> my whole face and body are covered in water. <laughs> ah, totally worth it though. I just came up on another spot, it's really shallow. There's a few bits of down timber sticking out of the water, so I'm sure there's some submerged logs. It's not very deep, but I'm betting that there's a pickerel lying back there and that I can get him. Oh, maybe one of the first three casts. We'll see. Rolled on it. Gas one. Got him. Oh, he's wrapped on a tree. Oh, got him around. Wow, what a what a freaking missile. <laughs> oh, he's a pretty decent one too. <sighs> nice. I don't have my gloves on right now. It's warming up a little, so I'm not sticking my fingers in there. But 
That's a pretty nice pickerel. Get out of there, get out of there. All right. Let's release this fella. So cool to watch them swim away like that. Love watching them swim away. If my uh, phone and camera batteries are both on their last breath and I had a great time. I came out here for a little over an hour and smoked some pickerel on top water and on a rooster tail. I mean, they're hitting everything I'm throwing. It's slick calm. What a good time it was. Um, if you get a chance and you want to go fishing and you're afraid the bass bite is going to be slow, try targeting pickerel. They're awesome. It's a good time. If you're from Florida, you don't have to worry about that. But if you're from Delaware, the winter months can be tough on a fisherman. All right, guys, I will see you next time. And thanks for watching Paddle and Hook.